Hello everyone, welcome back to my daily art vlog. I'm back in Olborg in my art studio and um, I've spent a couple of really nice days uh, up in uh, Norway where I come from. It was really nice to be back home again in my own country but now I'm back home that's nice too. The weather outside is really good so I'm going out after this video but uh, first I have to make a drawing of the day and uh, I made this one today. I hope you will enjoy the video and I wish you all a wonderful wonderful day. All right, so it's uh, good to be home back at my watercolor station. It's good to <laughs> finally get to use some good paper again. Um, kind of um, been trying out some other kinds of paper, cheaper paper, but um, it's just so much better when you work on good paper. You know, you can get interesting results. Um, with the cheap paper, but um, I mean, they don't help you, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> it's hard to explain if you haven't uh, tried good paper, like, uh, I mean, then you should do so. If you if you want to be, um, upgrade your um, watercolor paintings, upgrade the paper. And what I'm using here is, uh, uh, arches 300 grams cold pressed paper and uh, yeah I brought uh, some sketchbook to Norway and um, and the um, koi water brush like yeah with water in it and it's very convenient with a sketchbook like that and uh, and when the paper is not that good, you kind of automatically make things more sketchy because um, you're not going to make uh, fantastic results uh, anyways. And you start just messing a little bit with it. And sometimes that's good uh, when you're sketching. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going back to use uh, better paper again. <laughs> I will um, prioritize that from now on because, uh, yeah, it just looks better and feels better and, uh, yeah. And I'm using my uh, Escoda brushes again. I really love these brushes. Uh, I missed those. This is um, a Versatile Travel Brush number two by Escoda. And the other brush I used is also from Escoda. It's uh, a uh, Reserva number six. I will, uh, there's, uh, there's, there's something with this kind of a type of a character here that I a lot of time I try to avoid making these because it comes very easy for me it's like the first thing I do if um, I'm not starting to think about it and sometimes it's a good idea to challenge your uh, your tendencies I feel but um, I'm not sure I'll go back and I'll kind of embrace my tendencies uh, these days that's what I'm doing most of the time like um, but um, like I was making all the clowns but it doesn't give me anything anymore or I have some ideas but it's not so interesting as when I made the wish witches but the witches I started to make because um, because I was making these characters like men with hats and uh, I used to make them a lot when I was a teenager and um, these kind of uh, faces, broad smile, broad nose, big eyes, 
hat. And the witches were kind of um, um because I wanted to to create some more female characters, but the girls uh, they if you're gonna make a beautiful girl, you you usually don't you you have to stay away from details. Um, and I love making details. And if you're gonna make a beautiful girl, and then then you get um. Uh, then you have to stay away from like uh, wrinkles and uh, funny noses and those kind of things. Mm, so witches were interesting because they have uh, more fun features. <laughs> and I will make some more witches. I have some ideas for uh, some other drawings, but... Um... It was also really nice to have a break, but they, as I said, uh, mm, the clowns weren't giving me so much anymore. So, uh, well, I'm making this character today and uh, some of his uh, friends here. Not quite uh, sure what uh, character on the right is this uh, green character. <laughs> Where do you think it is? But this is the uh, finished result. So that's the finished illustration for you today i hope you enjoyed the journey and i hope you enjoyed the trip to norway with me it was really hard some days to make the videos but i still managed to do so really strange sometimes you know i had to sneak off from my friends and go and edit the videos like or my family <laughs> but i still managed to do so i feel like it's some there are you guys are sitting there and waiting for me to make these videos and uh, and some of you guys have also donated thank you very much to you guys who have donated a dollar or whatever you have donated i really appreciate it have to uh, say to other guys out there if you want to donate to this art show i make videos every single day and if you want to give some love back it is possible to do so by donating a dollar over at my patreon account or whatever you want all donations helps the next thing i will buy is a microphone so i can upgrade the sound on these videos and that's all i have to say today that was that and uh, me and this character or the characters are saying goodbye and i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye